Monsell Color Code system is a system which describes all colors, not just soil colors, but all colors. There are three components to the Monsell Color Code system. It consists of the hue, which is the color of the rainbow, the value, the lightness or darkness of the chip, and the chroma, which actually imparts an intensity to the color of the chip that you're actually seeing. So let's determine soil color. It's a lot easier uh, for a soil to be in a wet situation. You can wet up a soil very easily than it is to wait for the soil to dry. So soil color is usually taken moist. This is the Munsell Color Code book and I'm turned to the 10YR Hue page, which is actually very common for the soils here. So you're taking the moist soil and you're putting it in the back of the chart and you're trying to match it up with one of the colors. And it just so happens that this particular soil has a color, matches up quite closely with 10YR hue, value of three, and a chroma of four for a color of 10YR34. And then you can flip to the side over here, you can look at the side, it's dark yellowish brown. The two principal components that give soil its color are iron and organic matter. And on this display right here, what you can see are all the different colors that result from different oxidation states of iron. So for example, you have this deep maroon color, you have this brown color, you have the yellowish color, you have these tan colors. This is one of the major coloring components of soil is iron. The oxidized iron, Fe plus three, imparts lots of reds, browns, yellows, tans, oranges, and so forth. The absence of iron imparts a very gray color to the soil. Reduced iron is an iron which is in the form of Fe plus two, for example is very mobile in the soil and so it sort of leaches out of the soil and what you're left with are these gray colored soil particles. So what you probably noticed uh, looking at a soil is that soils have mixtures of colors and when we have mixtures of colors we call that modeling. So the second principal component of soil that imparts color is organic matter. So we have an example of a mommy sandy loam here. And what we've done is actually we've combusted that soil, all right, in this uh, sample over here. And as you can see, the organic matter really imparts a dark color to the soil. Whereas over here in that sample where the organic matter is removed, it's very light in appearance. So also uh, you find soils that are very dark in appearance on the surface. Uh, this is a soil from Iowa, lots of organic matter and parts of very dark color compared to soils from Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, uh, Mississippi that are very red in appearance, have a very low organic matter content. 